man. I'm, I got to go Team Gordon because that's my boy. That's who I grew up watching, following, and cheering for. But I also love the sport in general and everybody around it. And so I was an Earnhardt fan, a Jarrett fan, a Labonte fan, a Gordon fan, Wallace fan. I mean, I just, I just love the sport in general. So it was always cool to be able to watch these guys, the different personalities, how they went about being able to win their races, how successful they were, and just what came about and being a NASCAR fan. Yeah, I'm definitely an Earnhardt fan. I mean, I think Gordon gave uh, Earnhardt a run for his money and obviously earned a bunch of it, but um, I was always an Earnhardt fan. I, I loved watching that rivalry. Um, I grew up a Gordon fan. My brother grew up an Earnhardt fan, so we'd sit on the couch and harass each other during all, all those times. It was, it was a great time to be a fan of racing. You know, if I had to favor the rivalry, um, I would probably say Gordon, simply because my dad was an Earnhardt guy. And so... I was always, you know, I, I was a Bill Elliott fan, so, I, you know, him and Bill Elliott had their their moments where they butted heads, and so um, anybody that was against Earnhardt, I was for that guy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You don't think I'm on the Gordon side? <laughs> no, um, growing up, obviously being a huge Dale Earnhardt fan, my whole family was, and our weekends were based off of where Dale Earnhardt was and hoping that in that time the antagonist Jeff Gordon wasn't going to win the race, and, and he was uh, our rival at the time. But you know what is so cool is that I got to make a start in, in Jeff Gordon's final start, and um, I really appreciated that moment. It meant a lot to me because I look up to him so much, and he's an awesome guy. He's done so much for our sport and guys like myself, and um, to be a little bit a part of his history meant a lot to me. He is a hero and a legend of mine, and my wife is, was his biggest fan growing up. So um, I think now I have such an appreciation for, for Jeff, and um, that whole series is going to be a lot of fun. I'm caught in between because my family, we grew up rooting for the black three car, but then this guy named Jeff Gordon came along and him and I share the same birthday. Now, of course, Jeff's older, uh, but it was great to have August 4th as a birthday to share. And his first race was one of the first times I was starting out racing as well. And so I always had uh, my Rainbow Warrior shirt on, but it was underneath my Dale Senior jacket. No, I mean, I, people are going to take this the wrong way, but. I mean, Jeff's a friend of mine now because I've got to know him, but I wasn't a fan of either one of them. Um, just from the standpoint of, you know, my dad was also in that mix, and and uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't pull for either one of them. Uh, I respected them, but but I was never never really a fan uh, by any means. So um, that's I hope people don't take it the wrong way, but you have to kind of look at it from my view. My, I had uh, I had family ties, so. Yeah, family first. Man, to be on, it's, it's hard not to be on Jeff's side just because he's such a good friend. And uh, and I wasn't fortunate enough to, to ever meet Earnhardt Sr. There was one time I was actually down here for the 24-hour race. Uh, I believe Junior and Sr. were running it at the same time that year. And I walked by him and they were talking and I almost introduced myself and, and didn't quite do it. But uh, the amount of respect and, and, and what you've learned about what Earnhardt's done over the years, uh, you know, there's just a, a level of respect with that guy that just flows through the whole NASCAR garage, and and uh, it's hard not to to uh, you know want to be on his side as well. But uh, I think just the fact that you know Jeff and I were such good friends over the years, it'd be hard not to pick him. You know, for me, that guy growing up was, was Dale Earnhardt. You know, being from Kannapolis, North Carolina, myself, same place as him. Uh, it was incredible to see what a guy, just a hardworking guy. Um, that's want to provide for his family was able to you know make for himself and you know build the things he built and the legacy he built in our sport and, um, I was five years old when I started racing and he was the guy I wanted to be and uh, for sure without a doubt is the reason that I want to pursue what, where I am at today. Jeff Gordon for sure I have I have to say that but also I like him. Yeah I never had a chance to watch um, you know Dale really race when I was younger so uh, definitely be on the Jeff side of it you know I've heard uh, about all the stories and watched some of their rivalry going back and forth. Um. You know, I was one of the one of the random people that was kind of unbiased. I mean, I I watched through that era, loved watching every week, loved their rivalry, and um, I wasn't really on one side or the other. I, I just loved the uh, passion that the two of them both had. Well, the bad thing is I'm a little bit too young to ever have remembered Dale Earnhardt racing. I was born in '96, so. Uh, I was always a huge Jeff Gordon fan, so I guess you know I watched the the few years between himself and Dale Jr. when I was a bigger deal uh, back then. But um, I was always a big Jeff Gordon fan. I'm fortunate enough that I've been doing this a long time that I've raced against Senior and Jeff Gordon, and I think it's uh, knowing the quality of the people that did it. I, I know the, who did it, and I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to watch it. I do have it set on the DVR so I can see it and I'm excited to see how well it turned out. Do I have a side? No, I'm just a fan. I don't have sides on it. I like I like the whole aspect of it and you know, senior versus Jeff, 
you know, the old man versus, you know, the pretty boy. And I mean, it was, I, I can't wait to see how they did. My dirt racing background wants to take Jeff's side, but, um, you know, Dale Hart was a man and everyone knew it. And he, he was, you know, everyone's used the intimidator. He literally intimidated everybody. Uh, but I love their rivalry. Oh, team, I'm Gordon. Yeah, I've been a Jeff Gordon fan, and uh, nobody else in my family was. Um, nobody, none of our friends were, so uh, I've stayed strong with it. And, um, you know, a couple years ago, he actually recognized me in street clothes walking through, uh, uh, walking between two garages, I think, at Indianapolis. He just said, hey, Ross. So that was, that was really cool, and uh, I was just running Xfinity, you know, I just started, so that was um, that was really neat for me that he you know, recognized me. I don't know, I'm going to see the documentary first, but I'm going to have to probably lead towards Jeff since he's my colleague now, so I'm going to have a hard time going against him. I'm from Kannapolis, North Carolina, so obviously I'm going to be Team Earnhardt, uh, but both those guys did amazing things for the sport, um, and Jeff's a great dude.